This is officially our biggest event ever, but unfortunately there may be two people missing. After the federal uh, debate on Sunday night, we thought a platform right here of real people with real issues to discuss would be a great opportunity for our leaders. An opportunity to share their plans if elected to government on September the 7th. An opportunity to hear about what's important to the people of Greater Western Sydney. So unfortunately, we're not sure because it could still happen, the PM Kevin Rudd and opposition leader Tony Abbott may have missed this great opportunity, but the good news is you haven't. You're here and you're here to be heard. Small businesses are really too big to ignore. There are over 2 million of us employing over 7 million Australians. Over 77,500 people, as you saw before there, have joined the New South Wales Business Chamber's campaign of the same name, creating what they call the big four you can't ignore ahead of the federal election September 7. Things like less red tape, a simplified tax system, making it easier to employ people and better infrastructure for Australia. You're going to hear from a wonderful lineup of panellists from federal and state politics, local government, the education sector, economic development, leading organisations and big business. Fifteen panellists will join us, all discussing three great topics that are important to all of us here today and answering questions direct from the community. So to officially open the fourth annual Small Business Summit for Greater Western Sydney, please welcome the Parliamentary Secretary for Western Sydney and the Member for Hawkesbury, Mr Ray Williams. Thank you very much, Tony, and good morning, everyone. Can I firstly acknowledge my parliamentary colleagues, dignitaries, special guests, and most importantly, businesses and business leaders of Western Sydney who are present here this morning. It gives me great pleasure to deliver this opening address on behalf of the Small Business Summit, which is responding directly to the future growth of this important region of Western Sydney. And ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you once again to put your hands together on behalf of the Hills Business Chamber for undertaking this important initiative. It is often said business provides employment, not government, and that is true. However, it is vital to the successful and sustainable growth of any region that a strong partnership exists between both. The stronger the partnership, the greater the opportunity. The greater the opportunity, the more benefits that flow to business, our people, the state, and ultimately our nation. With that said, it is paramount that government, any government, provides responsible economic management and lives within its means. A government must operate a responsible budget ensuring expenses do not exceed revenue while maintaining and delivering the necessary services on behalf of our communities. This requires discipline, hard work and commitment, not dissimilar to the role business people play every day. A state government must fund and provide critical infrastructure while maintaining the capacity to pay down debt and ultimately deliver surplus budgets. The O'Farrell government in just two years has met and exceeded all these key measures with surplus budgets to be delivered in the 2014-15 year. A remarkable achievement in just over two years, especially considering the challenges we inherited in 2011 which included a $30 billion infrastructure backlog, a $5 billion black hole, and a budget in severe deficit. Through prudent financial management, reduced regulation, and payroll tax incentives to business, which are all a hallmark of Liberal governments, we have embarked on an impressive list of 74 infrastructure projects right across New South Wales, amounting to a total of $62 billion spending in the current term. Through this investment and the support to business, we have helped create 130,000 new jobs in this state in just two years, exceeding the combined employment figures of our neighbouring states of Queensland, Victoria and South Australia, with unemployment figures well below the national average. We have done this while maintaining a clear focus on one of the most important regions for future growth in New South Wales, Western Sydney. 
And our focus is particularly aimed at fulfilling our responsibilities as a dedicated partner working together with the private sector to deliver better outcomes for this region. Western Sydney is home to two million people and the workplace for another million people, with an additional one million people expected to move here over the next quarter of a century. That's why we recently announced an additional 170,000 new home sites integrated with employment zones for this region over the next 25 years. But homes and employment will not sustain this region alone. An example of that statement can be seen right here in Northwest Business Park. Recognised as a world-class employment hub, this area is a victim of its own success every morning and afternoon through gridlock traffic. And that is where the supporting role of a responsible government partnership is so important. Just 500 metres from this very site, a hole is currently being dug where the first tunnel boring machine for the North West Rail Link will be lowered into the ground next year, providing rapid rail transport at five minute intervals for communities peak hour, linking this gross area from Rouse Hill through North West Business Park to Castle Hill, Macquarie Park, North Sydney and the Sydney CBD. I had the greatest of pleasure in recently opening the Sydney Business Park in Western Sydney three weeks ago on behalf of our Premier. This important employment precinct was a concept proposed by the private sector. The Wern and Singh families and was supported by our government through the accelerated planning process. This park will provide 17,000 jobs right in the heart of Western Sydney upon completion. And to support this project, our government committed over $100 million to upgrading Richmond Road, directly linking that precinct with the M7. However, we have also identified the extension of the North West Rail Line Corridor to provide public transport right to the doorstep of that rapidly growing housing and employment precinct, ensuring we don't make the mistakes of the past. We have commenced the construction of dozens of important road and rail projects right across Western Sydney, linking people to their places of work, but perhaps none more important than West Connects, which will extend the M4 to a city and adjoin a duplicated M5, providing improved road and freight infrastructure to the airport, Port Botany, directly linked to Western Sydney. The commitment to critical infrastructure such as this is vital to the success of our state but it is also vital to the success of any business, as I firmly believe the greater the roadblocks to business, the greater the roadblocks to doing business. Access to your business is integral to your success and ultimately to the success of our state. Our government is clearing the pathway for business, not only through the provision of new roads and public transport, but also through reduced regulation and providing incentives to business that stimulate growth. When we came to government two years ago, we immediately announced rebates to business to encourage employment. A month ago, we not only increased those incentives by 25%, but raised the payroll tax threshold, which now relieves over 1,300 businesses from paying payroll tax, improving their bottom line, providing them with the incentives for growth and increased employment. The more we do as a government to create jobs, the more we are securing the future for both Western Sydney businesses and New South Wales families. It's a successful formula and one that is achieving impressive results and we will proudly continue to invest in these important initiatives in the future. That is the role of responsible government, working hand in hand with business in partnership to deliver the sustainable future growth for this ever expanding region of Western Sydney, which is fundamental to the overall success of New South Wales. Ladies and gentlemen, can I again thank you for your attendance here this morning, which I believe will be beneficial to all the key stakeholders in this region and who continue to embrace the growth and opportunity available right here in Western Sydney, which is so fundamental for the future of our great state of New South Wales. Thank you very much.